Hey guys, welcome to my next video. Um, in this sketch, um, it's actually a draw this in your style uh, drawing challenge that's on Instagram and is hosted by um, the account at Brejans. I don't know if that I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'll put it up on the screen there. Um, but he um, posts a photo like once a week on a Sunday kind of afternoon, I think. Um, and with a with a photo to sort of have a go at sketching, loads of people have a go, and it's amazing. It's really fun. Um, you just have to tag your picture with the whatever the subject is. So this one, for example, is hashtag draw Brian's boat three because he's done a couple of other boat uh, challenges before. Um, and they're always just really good fun. It's super interesting checking out the hashtag and seeing um what other what other artists are sketching and what you know um amazing variety of styles are out there so haven't done one for a little bit but I thought I'd have a go at this uh, boat one because I don't usually draw boats and I do find it's um, an interesting challenge um, and I'm always really um, enjoy trying to sketch or not sketch but paint water because you find it really hard um, but you'll see here I'm using a flat brush um, and the, the most important thing I want to point out here is using like different shades like different hues like always mixing it up so I started off with like kind of a turquoisey color but then I you can see at the bottom I chucked in a bit of green and then a bit of indigo and then I sort of did a few splatters and stuff and this really helps just to make the background look more dynamic so you'll see in a minute that it kind of dries a lot lighter than um, what I initially laid down and that's kind of part of the um, Part of the learning with watercolour really is just kind of getting the idea that, you know, it looks like, for instance, this uh, like turquoise that I'm putting down here, it looks really dark, but actually in a minute or two, once it dries, it's, it lightens right up. And I suppose that's why um, why I sort of go in and do end up doing quite a lot of layers sometimes, just to kind of build up the kind of depth, depth of shades um, to kind of create create the depth in the um, sketch. So I'm actually using a watercolour pencil there for no other reason than they, they were just kind of on my desk so um, I bought them a while back and I'm kind of conscious I don't really use them en enough so every now and again I decide to use them. So I actually did the base sketch of this boat in like a dark blue watercolour pencil um, which uh, makes sense really um, because it kind of disappears really under the, under the watercolour that's kind of put down. I'm just going in now with some um, ink kind of details. I do this mainly in my sketches. I kind of go in with a bit of paint and then I'd sort of draw a few lines and then I might go back and do a bit more painting and then I might do some more lines and that's kind of like, that's my my way of building up the sketch really. Um, I think it's Ian Fennelly who kind of says he works on all parts of the sketch at once really because um, a he'll get bored if he's just using on one part if he's just drawing one part all the time but it kind of also um, balancing balances things out a bit if you're kind of working on the whole thing all at once So guys, I have a quick announcement to make. Um, I've just released my first book um, called Sketchy Adventures Around the World. Um, it's illustrations from the last three years of my travels. Um, it features like over 130 of my illustrations done in ink and watercolour. 
I have traveled to 15 different countries, over four different continents, and it covers the span from uh, 2017 right up to the present moment, which right now is like August 2020. Um, uh, so like right up to lockdown and pandemic. So I've even got a few sketches from around the house as well, just to finish the book off. Uh, but there's chapters on places like Iran and South Sudan, as well as European countries um, and South Africa, uh, just to name a few. So um, I really hope that you can take a look at the book. Um, you can click the link in the description below. And if you use the discount code USKWORLD, you'll get 20% off until 1st of September 2020. So please do um, take a look at the description below. Um, and if you can, get the book and let me know what you think. Yo, give it a stage in a minute, I'ma eat you El professor is in the house, let me teach you I could defeat you with two hands tied And have you waking in the hospital like, who am I? And who are you? Who are they? What is this? You wouldn't believe how someone react to this shit The mind slips, slips, slipping, speaking in tongues Sly ink, GVA, that's how we get it done, uh That's how we get it done, uh That's how we get it done, uh That's how we get it done, uh. done. Sly ink, GVA, that's how we get it done, uh